Hi, I'm Dr. Vince Balanzi. I've had several questions recently on gluten and what it can do to the body, especially what it can do to the, to the intestines, to the gut. And so I wanted to address that. The thing is that gluten is the protein component of many grains. So every grain has a gluten. But when we talk about being gluten-free, we're having people avoid the gluten that's most commonly reacted to. It, it, it's in the grains of, of wheat, rye, barley, uh, even spelt. The, this one particular class seems to have glutens that bother more people, but there are glutens in, in other grains that we have to be concerned about as well. When people are being put on a gluten-free diet, they're avoiding the gluten because damage has been done to the gut itself. And the problem is that a lot of people create inflammation because their gut is reacting to, to the gluten, their immune system. If the immune system reacts, we can get a situation called leaky gut. Now the gut leaks normally when you do heavy exercise or other times when you're trying to absorb more nutrients, you actually will increase what's called permeability and you'll allow more things through the bloodstream. If it's naturally occurring though, the immune system is more ready for things to be judged. The dendritic cells are more active. Basically your body allows more things in, but it, it has more, let's say, bouncers out there. So the thing is that the immune system being more ready, it's a, it's a more safe situation. If you create leaky gut, if you have the leakiness happening all the time because of inflammatory damage, now you've got a situation where things can sneak in or get into the bloodstream that really shouldn't be getting in. And gluten is one of those things. So first of all, gluten can create this leaky gut situation by damaging the protein structures that allow what are called enterocytes to, to keep themselves closer together so they can be a filter but also the gluten can be, cause an extreme enough reaction to even turn into something called celiac disease. And celiac is much more serious. There's enough damage done to the villi and to the gut so that you can't even absorb nutrients. But if people are just gluten sensitive, you, you're not going to necessarily go to the extent of, of celiac, but you are going to be allowing gluten into the body. And then you can get a systemic effect. Basically, wherever that gluten travels, it can cause a localized inflammatory response. And this can become a real problem. It can lead to things like dementia, even Alzheimer's. It can lead to joint pain. It can lead to other problems because inflammation has begun wherever that gluten traveled to. However, even in the gut, if the inflammation is local, we're going to, going to have that damage occur. It may not be celiac disease, but it can create a situation of, of many more allergies, a higher sensitivity, just an overall inflammatory status and a, a chronic inflammatory status of the body. So we want to be careful with gluten because of what it can do that's negative. Now, a lot of people can tolerate gluten, and they're fine eating it. But what I want you to also understand that is that eating gluten-free doesn't necessarily mean healthy. Eating gluten-free just means eating and avoiding those certain glutens. But many people eat gluten-free and are still just eating flour and starch. So keep that in mind. The best source you have for calories and for carbohydrates is really vegetables, second to that, fruit. The grains are, are a far distant third as far as their values, but they do have some value. The thing is, if, if you react to gluten, if you're gluten sensitive, or especially if, we, if it's determined that you have celiac disease, then you're going to be avoiding the grains. You're going to be eating more of a paleolithic type idea. So you have to structure your diet according to how your body functions, your genetics, and, and what's going to be best for you. But gluten can, in fact, cause damage, and it's because of that, that inflammation and the damage that occurs is, is, we'll call it collateral damage. So I hope this answers a couple questions. We'll do more on this in the future. I want to talk more about gluten and how to be gluten-free, how to be healthy and gluten-free, because, again, just being gluten-free isn't the total answer. So this is Dr. Vince Valanzi. We'll be doing more on this. If you have any questions, please come to my channel. Go to my website, www.recklesshealth.com. I'm happy to answer comments and questions. We'll be doing more videos in the future. Thanks for listening.